Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Food Tech Talks. Today we are going to start a new session in which we will be describing about most expected questions for food safety officer examination 2020. This is about me, myself, Rushda Hussain, doing my master's in Sandra Food Technological Research Institute. If you have any doubts or queries regarding our classes, please do mail to us through the given mail ID. So coming to today's class, as I have mentioned earlier, we will be discussing questions for FSO examination. So we can start. Coming to the first question, cotton seed endospherms containing toxic pigments. Options are A. Gossipol, B. Goitrogen, C. Phalloidin, D. Nanofebo. Answer is option A. Gossipol. Gossipol is the toxic pigment present in cotton seed endosperm. It acts as inhibitor for many of the dehydrogenase enzymes in our body. I'll give brief idea about other two options also. Goitrogen. Goitrogen is commonly found in Plants which belongs to the Brassica family, example like broccoli, cabbage, etc. And it acts as inhibitor for the thyroid hormone or interrupt the production of the thyroid hormone. And option C is phalloidin. Phalloidin is commonly found in a kind of mushroom plant like a death cap mushroom. And if it is going to our body, it binds with the actin and prevent the depolymerization of actin. Durum wheat containing dash percentage of protein. Options are A 8 to 9 percentage, B 13 to 15 percentage, C 9 to 10 percentage, and D is 10 to 11 percentage. Answer is option B 13 to 15 percentage. Durum wheat containing 13 to 15 percentage of protein. Mainly wheat is classified into three types. Many classifications are available but still major classification is three types. Triticum compactum, triticum estivum and triticum dura. Triticum compactum or we will call as soft wheat which is containing 7 to 9 percentage of the protein which is used for the production of cake, biscuit etc. And next type is triticum estivum which is uh, called as hard wheat also and it is containing 10 to 12 percentage of the protein which is commonly used for the production of bread and third category is triticum durum which is used for semarilla and macaroni production contains 12 to 13 percentage of the protein macaroni not only macaroni all extruder products are uh, produced from the triticum durum what you mean by extrusion means a material is pushed through a die of desirable processions die means a circular disc which is having one or more opening to give a particular shape third question Chira disease due to dash nutrient deficiency. Options are A. Zinc, B. Copper, C. Boron and D. is Iron. Answer is option A. Zinc. Chira disease due to zinc nutrient deficiency. Chira disease is a non-parasitic or non-infectious disease. The common symptoms which is which are uh, dusty brown spot on upper leaves of standard plant or uneven plant growth etc. This chira disease is commonly found in the rice plant. Fourth question, calorific value of alcohol. Options are A, 4 kilocalorie per gram, B, 6 kilocalorie per gram, C, 9 kilocalorie per gram and D is 7 kilocalorie per gram. Answer is option D, 7 kilocalorie per gram. As we know, kilocalorie per gram is unit for energy. Means, if you are taking gram of a substance, we will get this much amount of kilocalorie of energy in our body. Few of the calorific value which are commonly asked are carbohydrate 4 kilocalorie per gram, protein 4 kilocalorie per gram and fat is 9 kilocalorie per gram. Coming to the fifth question, starter culture of Swiss type cheese. Option A, propionic bacterium, B, lactobacillus, C, saccharomyces ellipsodius and D is both B and C. Answer is option A, propionic bacterium. Propionic bacterium is the starter culture used for the production of Swiss type cheese. 
Swiss cheese is commonly hard cheese. Hard cheese means 25 to 36 percentage of the moisture is present in the cheese. Since it is bacterial ripen, which is containing gas holes also. Bacterial produce many kind of the gases such as CO2 and gradually these gases will escape from the cheese surface which will be leaving gas holes. Coming to the sixth question, aflatoxin produced by DASH. Option A, Bacillus subtilis. Option B, Aspergillus flavors. Option C, Clostridium perfringens. And D is Erwina carotovara. Answer is option B, Aspergillus flavors. Commonly, aflatoxin produced by Aspergillus flavors and Aspergillus parasiticus. Aflatoxin is classified into two types, B1 and G1. Under the UV light, B1 will see it as blue color and G1 will be green color. That's why it is named as B1 and G1. It is toxigenic, mutagenic and carcinogenic. B1 is more toxic than G1. Aflatoxin is commonly found in peanut, corn, spice, etc. Seventh question, Tacoic acid present in dash bacteria. Option A, gram negative bacteria. B, positive bacteria. Option C, both A and B, D, none of the above. Answer is option B, gram-positive bacteria. Tacoic acid is a compound which is present in the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. This tacoic acid will bind with the cations such as magnesium and sodium and it will give rigidity to the cell wall. Its main function is giving rigidity to the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. Eighth question, pH of honey. Options are A 4.2 to 4.7, B 3.5 to 4.4, C 4 to 4.5, D is 3.2 to 4.2. Answer is option D 3.2 to 4.2. As all we know, honey is rich in the sugar content. Right, 70 to 80 percentage of the sugar is present in the honey. Out of all these sugars, they are mostly containing monosaccharide like fructose and glucose. When bee is collecting nectar from the flowers, it is rich in the water content. Almost 70 to 80 percentage of water is present in the nectar. Once this bee will degurgitate this honey, all water will get evaporate and it will get highly concentrated in the sugars. Moreover, honey is having antiseptic and antibacterial property also. Ninth question, penalty for misleading advertising or label. Options are A, 5 lakh, B, 7 lakh, C, 10 lakh and D is 3 lakh. Answer is option C, 10 lakh. So, misleading nature, substance or quality or false guarantee, all these things will come under misleading advertising or label. So, they will be punished with 10 lakh rupees penalty. There is one more question is there like misbranding. Penalty for misbranding. Penalty for misbranding is 3 lakh rupees. There is a chance for getting confusion between misleading advertisement and misbranding. Misleading is 10 lakh rupees and misbranding is 3 lakh rupees. Coming to the 10th question, Shevon is the meat of dash. Options are A. Sheep, B. Horse, C. Buffalo and D. is Goat. Answer is option D. Goat. Shevon is the meat of Goat. Then what we will call for sheep meat? Sheep meat we will call as mutton. Horse meat is Chevalier and Buffalo meat is Kara beef. One more time I will repeat. Shevon is the goat meat. Sheep meat we will call as mutton, horse meat, chevalier and buffalo meat we will call as kara beef. I would like to wind up today's class here. Hope you guys understood everything. If you have any doubt regarding today's class, you can do comment. We will let you know the answers. Go through the questions again and again and make it thorough. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications. Thank you.